Hi, uh, my name is Julian, 1047 Kiss FM. Is it, and everybody gets it wrong, I'm going to get it right. Carly Aquilino. Yes. Really? Yeah, you got it right. Awesome. From Girl Code. How I'm I, so impressed. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm doing well. Is it true that you were, were you a comedian before Girl Code or Girl Code before comedian? Comedian before Girl Code. Exactly. Yeah. Everybody gets it twisted. She was a comedian <laughs> before, before Girl Code, and then you went to Girl Code. Yes, yes. How'd you get on that show? <laughs> doing stand-up. I was uh, doing a show at Caroline's in New York, and the creator of the show, Ryan Ling, was in the crowd, and I was pretty new into stand-up, and he ended up liking my set and brought me in for an audition that, like when girl code was a pilot technically mm -hmm. and then i had audition for the pilot and i got on it and the show got to air so it was it was fun do you find people uh coming coming at you all the time asking for relationship advice oh yeah all because the time i see i've seen a lot of interviews and it seems like i mean to me you're just like a regular girl that keeps it real. Yeah. But for some reason, you're now like the relationship expert, am I right? Right, right. And I'm not a relationship expert. You're not. I can't. I don't know anything about anything. But they're, okay, that's good to know. I literally <laughs> like. I was going to ask you something, but if I'm going to get No, what were you going to ask me? I might know. Well, okay, I was going to give you different scenarios, like generalizations, because there are generalizations when it comes to dating and, you know, guys and girls and, you know, differences. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's something you can speak about. Yes. Is that something you do on your set? Like, I, Yeah, you know? yeah, totally, totally. I definitely talk about relationships and about, I actually talk about people asking me for advice and not really knowing what to tell them, but then I do give a little bit of advice just like from my own learning experience. Does it bother you when people ask you for advice or your thoughts? It depends. If it's my friends, then yes, because like they know me. It's like I've known you for 10 years. Well, like you know I don't have my stuff together. Well, I was going to ask you something, but if but we're I not want friends, you to ask, I keep telling you to ask me. Okay, so let me give we're you. We're best friends. Okay, best friends, besties. Yeah. For these next five minutes. Mm -hmm. So let's say, guy and girl go out. Right. They hang out. Yeah. Okay. Everything is great. Okay. And this is Malcolm's situation huh? behind the the camera. This has right. nothing to do with me. Right. And uh, they go out, great time, and the girl will even text message him and say, oh, "I had a great time, blah blah blah. Let's do it again," or you know something along those lines. Right. So you you know, person actually. She went the effort to text message. Right. And then after that, it's just like no one really, nothing ever happens out of that. Is and that like because you didn't deep. call her or Malcolm didn't call her? Yeah, Malcolm. Um, Did I don't Malcolm? know. I, I guess he didn't. So you forgot to call the girl. Well, why would you do that? Like, I, because I, she texted you after the date. That means you have to text her the next day. Yeah, the guy did text, me text message back. You're saying, making up a story. No, no, I'm not. No, the guy did text message back that same the same night and said, oh, yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, but too. you have to call her the next day. You have to follow up or not the next day, but maybe two days later and call her on the phone or text her and just be like, hey, uh, let's get together again this weekend or next weekend or whatever. But there's some guys out there that don't like to bother the person. Like, you don't want to be that no, annoying guy. Does that I, make sense? Like, where's the yeah. fine line there? I think that if a guy wants to be with a girl, he makes the effort. And that's it. Like yeah, you, that's if, if a guy, it's like, it's one thing to not want to bother somebody, but like if you feel like they're into you, there's no reason to not call them because they want you to call them, well, but they're not going to call you. Like, I'm not going to call you if you didn't call me after I texted you after we went out and I texted you first and then you texted me back and then you didn't call me back. Really? Yeah. Is it really that complicated? Yes. Like, but why can't, like you're a woman of 2015, am I right? Yeah. You've been on this earth for about 24 years. Yeah. So at this point, at this stage in the game, wouldn't you just say if you want it, you would go for it and just be like, what's the big deal? Yeah, but Tech if he wants it, he should go for it. Yeah, and if he doesn't go for it, then I'm not going to like but sit there's around been and no wait. Clues. There's been no clues. No guy wants to be embarrassed. So It's not embarrassing. No, there, no. well, there's been no clues at, uh, to the guy, you know, telling the guy that, that she's interested. Well, yes, there was when she texted you after she the date said and thanks. said she had it. That's a perfect, that means let's anal. Really? Yeah, it means let's anal. That's awesome. Yep. I've never done that. Well, then well, that's no, you know, because you don't once. call people back. Okay, so that's, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's what Malcolm's been doing wrong. Yeah, Malcolm. So you're set because <laughs> I'm intrigued by you. I've been watching a couple of your interviews and things like that just to get an idea. I already knew who you were from Girl Code, mm -hmm. but you know what I mean? To really get the, you know. Right. S sorry. Um, so are you like, is your set, is it, how do you do it? Would you say, is it, is it dirty? It's is it dirty, PG? yeah. Okay. It's dirty. But dirty but real. Dirty but real, yeah. Just real things that we all kind of go through and, and just silly stuff that's happened to me, unfortunately, mm -hmm. in relationships and in dating. But you're only 24, dude. I've been around. 
Say that again. I've been I've been dating for a long time. Right. Yes, that's the best way to put it. Like yeah. I've been on a bunch of dates. Right. I haven't been with a lot of guys, but I've been with a bu- on a bunch of dates. Sure, because you never know how it's going to end up at. Well, it usually ends after the first or second date. Okay. For me, it okay. did, but now I'm in a relationship. Right. So in a very real world situation for you, what 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 are some things that, you know, that some telltale signs that say, "You know what? I'm going to cut this off." This is probably good advice for my friend. Um, okay, so f- red flags, right? You want like sure, red, red flags. flags. Sure. If Every you guy see should know. if a guy takes his shoes off and he has a hole in the t- toe of his sock, Why I will never talk anyway? to him again. Also, once I broke up with a guy cuz he drank milk at my house and I was like, "Who drinks milk?" At somebody else's house. Like, you don't have extra milk just laying around. Like, you only have one gallon at a time. Like, don't be drinking gallons of milk at my house right now, buddy. Gotta go. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. That that was the end of that relationship. Because he drank a glass of milk in front of my face. And I was like, you're rude. Maybe he's trying to grow. No, he was (laughs) fine. And then, what else? Um... I think if he's just like, I think the biggest thing that would like make me just walk away from somebody would just be like, if they're just acting like they're too cool. Like if a guy thinks he's too cool to make an effort. Like he's Jersey Shore or something. Yeah, like Jersey Shore. Yeah. Yeah, like in a way, just kind of just like, I'm too good for this. Like, I don't care either way. And it's like, all right, well, neither do I. Right. Right. Good point. Um, That's the best way to get into it. It's just like, all right, neither of us care. Goodbye. For people that don't know, also you used to, were you? Uh, did you did you color hair or did you cut hair? Yeah, I was. Sorry, I just choked. Okay. Sorry, sorry for it's the question. It's okay. No, it's very emotional. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. Um, no, but you recently. Yeah, were, uh, I was a hairdresser. hairdresser. Yeah, I was a hairdresser up until like literally a year and a half ago. Because yeah, I, I refused to quit my job because I thought that I was gonna jinx my comedy career if I quit my day job I thought that if I quit my day job then I wouldn't book anything ever again Mm -hmm. and then it just got to the point where like I was literally I just ended up taking having to take off every day but I didn't technically quit but I was like listen I can't come in every day because I'm very busy but I still work here (laughs) so you were doing okay so so for so the let let let's paint the picture real quick you were cutting hair during the day nine to five and then you were doing uh, Caroline's was it Caroline's? Yeah, like yeah, yeah. You, you were doing sets, comedy sets at night, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I was at the time that I started stand up. I wasn't a hairdresser. I was working at a hair salon. I stopped doing hair, um, and then I was working at a hair salon as a receptionist. So that was like because well, when I was a hairdresser, I was working all through the night, like really late at night. Mm-hmm. So when I was a receptionist, I ended up just being like, all right, I'm going to try and do stand up." So I would just do open mics every night when I got out of work until, you know, late and then go home and go up and go to work. Yeah, People don't know, man. People don't think that it's real easy. Oh, you're on TV. All of a sudden you're making a bunch of money, but yeah, it's no, really, it's not. That's it's not like case, a facade. Right? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you do well fine now, but yeah, do you get like it? It depends. Like it, I think there's different levels of it, but people think like if you're on TV, you're loaded you know, but that's not always the case. Are you the type of person that's always like, are you, like I call them observers. Like I'm a big observer, right? Yeah. So I observe everything that's going on like right now. Are you a big observer? And then that's what you pull content from like when you're on yeah, stage? Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. That's that's where I get my material from. Do you do it from all your friends' lives, just your life, you know what I mean? Is yeah, it- probably my life and m- more so my life than anybody else's. Um and just like things that I go through and just like the different phases of it. It's so weird how it starts off and it was like, I'm single and then it was like, I'm in a relationship. Then I went through a breakup. Now I'm in a relationship again. So like you talk about as your life grows, you just talk about more and more things and life experiences that you go through. So it gives you more material. What do your parents think? Because in your bio it says your dad, I know it's a joke, but your dad is like, what, he's like embarrassed to have you or something like that? My dad, I don't remember what it says in my bio. It but says something my like, dad, it literally says that he's yeah, embarrassed to have you. Yeah, I think, no, my parents are really, really cool about it. My parents have always been really supportive and just like go to any show that they can get to and, and just really always have had my back with it. So I was, I was lucky about it. Did you have a normal, like, uh, st- like a very regular Italian upbringing? Yeah, pretty much typical like parents and two brothers growing up on Long Island and they all go to your shows yeah for the most part whenever they can my parents are like number one 
are they are they super protective? Because I know how like some Italian families. They're their cool. Brothers. I mean, uh, uh, they go through their uh, with comedy. They're cool. Like I could talk about anything in front of them. They're not like they laugh. They're like that's funny that it's you, you know. But I don't think that they're like embarrassed by it, or I don't think they get upset about it. Cause I'm the one talking about it. It's like, hey guys. Right. Yeah. Cool man. Thanks. Any, do you have any like any any hecklers ever at a show? Yeah, I was actually talking about it before. I went to. <laughs> Uh, a couple weeks ago, during the Super Bowl, I was in Seattle, and that was the most heckle, like, <clears throat> the most hecklers I've ever had in a whole weekend. Like, every show I got heckled, because like, everybody say, was though? drunk. They were screaming their team's name, sure. and just, oh my God, nonstop, Seahawks, Seahawks. I, when I was up on stage, I'm like, I don't care about football. I didn't like i didn't even know that they I were in the super bowl fan, really. until i got there i don't i don't like sports really like okay. i don't understand football my boyfriend makes fun of me because i literally like up until recently i thought that you like if you mess up in football they deduct points well hold on i thought that i don't like, watch a lot of football either do they deduct well, no they don't deduct points. they don't you deduct don't, points yeah, don't i get, just yeah. learned that you don't get you just don't make the play you got to get first down. yeah you, you just it, don't yeah. get more points but i thought that they take points away from you okay. if you fall okay so okay so okay so you're in the crowd i'd much rather just watch like figure skating i can well, yeah, i like figure skating i like figure skating do you uh so if they're heckling you in the crowd you're just are you like going back at them are you that type of person i wasn't being i was being cool about it i was like all right i get it you guys are in the super bowl that's awesome but i just don't care about it like I'm gonna watch the Puppy Bowl, <laughs> and which I do every year. I watch the Puppy Bowl it's so much better than the Super Bowl. Awesome. Have you ever seen the Puppy Bowl? Uh, I don't even know what the Puppy Bowl is. That what? Works. No. What is that? It's a bunch of puppies that are playing football. Even though like puppies don't play football, but they like it's literally like hours. That's fun to of watch. Footage of puppies on like a mock football field, uh -huh. and they're just. Yeah, it's funny to watch because they narrate it as if it's a real football game. Okay. Like, so they're I, like, Molly, the golden retriever, took the ball from... It's, like, it. hilarious. And then they, it'll, like, slow-mo them, like, accidentally, like, knocking over their water bowl. Like, when I heard puppy it's bowl... It's so funny. I, I thought it was just a term. I didn't think it was actually literally... No, it's balls. a thing. Purina. Purina does it with the ASPCA. They, uh sponsor it and it's all puppies that need to be adopted cool you're really into it man yeah i love puppies i will punch every puppy in the face That's awesome. so uh, okay so let's get into it you're at tempe improv tonight so thursday you're at tempe improv tonight yes. i don't want to get this mixed up thursday tempe improv stand up live all weekend long yeah friday and saturday is it two shows casey two shows friday and saturday you're doing sunday no you're that's your no sunday day. and then you're leaving when monday flying home monday well, flying home sunday flying back to new york yes what do you do to relax sleep yeah. sleep yeah, and well, do you have like a thing? Like, do you shop? Do you? I, I like collecting shoes. You drink? You have a big drinking, drink? sleeping, smoking. Got it. And eating. I love it. Thank you. All right, let <laughs> me pronounce your name, Carly Aquilino. Aquilino. Yep. Tempe Improv tonight. Stand up live all weekend long. Get the tickets at standuplive.com for tonight and tempeimprov.com all weekend long. Okay, you're awesome. Thank you. Backwards. What do you mean? Tempe Improv tonight. I said stand Tempe up live. No, you said you got to go on the website, go stand up live tonight, and Tempe Improv all weekend long. Re roll the tape. Tempe Improv tonight. Stand up live all weekend long. Get the tickets at standuplive.com for tonight and tempeimprov.com all weekend long. Okay? You're awesome. Thank you. Fast Saturday. forward. Rewind. Tempe Improv tonight. Thursday. Oh my God. I can't wait for you to see it because Tempe you fed it up. Well, this is recorded so we can. Fix it, Malcolm. <laughs> StandUpLive.com this weekend. TempeImprov.com tonight.